This is for my Jeep Wrangler project. Here we have a 2.0 liter BHW engine code Volkswagen TDI. This uh, came out of a Volkswagen Passat. And this engine is going into this Jeep. And I have um, made this little test stand because I reprogrammed the ECM and I wanted to make sure that everything was going to function before I actually build the adapter and uh, mount the engine in the uh, frame. At a later date, I'm going to build headers for the turbo and I'll build a custom intake. For now, I'm not even gonna leave an intake on there. Uh, a diesel engine can run without an intake for a little bit, it won't hurt it. Um, it's not a very dusty environment right now at least, so I'm not worried about that. For the few seconds, I'm gonna have it powered up. Another thing is that you will notice that there is no radiator um, on this setup. And that's just because I'll only be running it for 20 or 30 seconds, so it's not gonna have time to heat up to the point where I would need a radiator. So let me get this started. I have a very simple little five PSI lift pump that lifts the diesel out of the small tank there and into the tandem pump. This tandem pump uh, performs two functions. One, it creates a vacuum for the brake booster Diesels don't do that automatically, you know, without the uh, vacuum pump. The other thing is this is a uh, high pressure fuel pump. So this is just a lift pump. And then this is the second stage. And then the third stage is the unit injectors. But I will connect up the um, fuel pump here. Again, this is just a test stand, so it doesn't matter. But connected the fuel pump. And now this fuse, when I insert this fuse into this little fuse holder here, is the equivalent of turning the key, the ignition on. So I can do this with one hand. I'll get it to go in there. There. So when I want to shut the engine off, I'll just pull this fuse. This relay then kicks on. So the fuse. When I turn this fuse, it on this purple wire, it tells the ECM that it wants to be key on. The ECM then turns on this uh, little relay. The relay then feeds the main power back to the ECM, and the ECM is ready to go. The ECM has been reflashed so that it does not have an immobilizer. And then the throttle pedal is here, just for test purposes. All right, so. This wire goes to the starter solenoid, and all I'm going to do is the equivalent of cranking the uh, engine over with the key is just connect the so starter solenoid to 12 volts. basically it. It's running on the test stand. I will then set up a coolant system so I can do further test runs and work about worry about all the uh, extra sensors that I still have to worry about in the intake and exhaust and all that but it's uh, running.